I think of my own well-being and well-being in general, I, I often think of health as being a three-legged stool. and Each leg is equally important. The leg of nourishment, caring for ourselves through the choices we make around the food that we eat. And then there's the leg of movement, moving with intention. And then the third leg is recovery. And to be able to move well, you really need both to nourish yourself well and also to recover well. And they all interplay. And I might even add a fourth leg if I could, which is the idea of community and bringing it all together with the folks around us. Because any health journey can seem overwhelming, but recruiting your community and recruiting your friends and family for both accountability but also support is hugely important. I certainly would not have been able to overcome what I did and to get onto a path of well-being had it not been for the incredible people that surrounded me. And also just remembering every day that each little decision I made, while on its own might have seemed inconsequential, in its aggregate had the power to completely change my life. Food has really changed a lot over the past 10 years. The relationship that we have with food, the awareness that we have about how food impacts our well-being has changed a lot. It's become much more mainstream. The idea of health and wellness and food as it relates to health and wellness was a rather fringe idea 15 years ago, and now it's broadly accepted. The more that we can talk about the importance of eating real food, the more that we can be stewards not only of our bodies but also of the planet, and using foods as an instrument for change, the better we are, the brighter the future is for the next generation, the greater our chances are of reversing so much of this very dangerous path that we're going down. We're facing, unfortunately, an epidemic of ill health, not only in the United States, but around the world. And so much of that is driven by an unhealthy relationship with food. We've become very disconnected from our natural food systems. We've become very disconnected from the relationship that we have with the provenance of our ingredients and where they come from. And as that starts to change, that's the one thing that gives me hope that we can actually turn things around. I've been really fortunate with a group of other chefs to be involved in an organization called Chef Cycle. It's a division of No Kid Hungry. And our objective is twofold. One, we get together once a year and we do a, a huge charity ride. We ride 300 miles in three days on bicycles, which sounds like an insurmountable task. And in doing so, we raise money to end childhood hunger in the United States, which is a fixable problem. Every dollar that we raise provides 10 meals for kids in need. And I've seen so many chefs make positive changes in their lives in preparation for the charity ride and become athletes, become cyclists. I've seen people make dramatic changes in their lives and in doing so they're giving back to the community and they're taking care of themselves. And it's something that I feel very privileged to be a part of.